Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to do an update video on my clean canteen. Um, this just happens to be a 40, 40 ounce wide mouth bottle. So as you guys can see, I did put this thing over a fire over open flames and it worked out fantastic. So you can look at the bottom of it. So, you know, it it does boil. It takes a lot longer to boil water in these than, eh, than a pot or a pan or something like that, just because of the surface area. So just keep that in mind. But with this bottle and my, um, my Emberlit stove, I was able to boil 40 ounces of water. And, you know, it probably took about 17 minutes because I wasn't really feeding the fire and keeping it going it would go down to embers and then I'd throw in some more little uh, kindlin sticks and it'd get going again so but these things work out great they're fantastic I recommend them for everyday carry I recommend them for hiking backpacks and everything like that one uh, thing you should be concerned about if you are using these if you do drop this and it's full of water like I did on solid concrete, it just dropped, hit, and it blew the top off. And all my water just went right out on the ground. So if you guys are going to be using these, watch out for dropping them. Watch out for denting them. If you do dent them, like I've dented this one up pretty good, um, you can pop some dents out. I think I used a hatchet handle, and I popped all my dents out. Looks like I need to go back and try to push a couple more out. But that's probably going to weaken your water bottle, so you don't want to do that a whole bunch. But if you get a serious dent in there, you might be able to push it out, just as long as it's not on the seam. There is a seam on the inside of the bottle. This one's still full of water. But, you guys can see, there's no rusting or anything like that. If you guys are concerned about that, I've been using this water bottle for, I don't know, uh, since then. <laughs> So I don't know what date that is or whatever, or how they do that. But I've been using this thing for quite a while. And I don't have any rusting or anything inside my bottle. As you guys can see. Looks like there's a pretty good dent down in there. Huh. Yep, you can see the dents inside there too. So, But anyhow, that's what I got for you guys. Just make sure you, know, you clean the inside your cap out. Around all your threads. Um, and clean your water bottles up. But these things are freaking awesome. They do take a pretty good beating, but you just got to watch out for those key points I talked about earlier. And check these things out, you know. Um, I'm really happy with it. Between this and a Nalgene, you know, those are that's a coin toss. This I can boil water in, but I can't really drop and beat on it. A Nalgene, I can drop and beat on it, but I can't boil water. And some people will say, oh yeah, you can boil water in it. And no, I, I don't ever boil water in plastic. <laughs> I just I just don't have faith in plastic. So, but that's what I got, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I don't know if I'm gonna take the soot off of here or not. It is kind of marring some stuff up. You know, I could draw on this table if I wanted to. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'll take that off of there yet or not. So, but I really do like these things. Check them out. Um, if you guys like my video, I appreciate it. If you comment and subscribe, I really appreciate that. So have a good day. Go out and do something.